Okay, um, I uh, want to bring up an issue that I didn't, I couldn't find on YouTube, a solution that I was having, a problem I was having with my Mech uh, Progressive Presta 9000G. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but I had to move the primer feed chute um, like more in the middle, and it's not per the instructions um, when you set up the uh, primer feed um, t on your Mac 9000G. I don't know if you can see the little dot, the little holes that they got there. Uh, try to position this right. Um, right about there. They're supposed to be, I forget the, the distance. All I know is that when I set it up per instructions, um, the problem that would happen is that shoot would start uh, getting too close to right about here. It would be like right close to the edge of this. And what would happen is it would catch either, if you can see that shell, the lip of the shell, if you're not paying attention, it would rip it. And if not, it, it would further catch the brass. And I happen to be using this high brass shell for one of my shotguns that I was uh, trying to break in. Um, and it was really frustrating and eventually I ended up taking the whole thing off and just putting the primers in in there by myself or, or on my own um, the thing is that they um, I did get a hold of mech and you know explain the situation so they sent me a whole assembly this this one minus the where the, the tray um, and Unfortunately, um, I still had the same problem. So the only way I could get this to work correctly where it's not catching the holes, either in the depriming uh, side or the stage two side, was to position it so that it's more in the middle. Of course, then the bar that actually presses on this thing, it would never catch because it's too far away. It's not, it's not flush with this thing. So what I did is came up with a, a solution since I uh, couldn't think of or couldn't see anybody posting this. I got the tongue depressor and I cut it in half. And then I went out and bought um, some Velcro um, like tape, I guess, or fastener. And I put them on the, on the, on this here. And I put the other part on the, uh, tongue depressor and that what it did it gave me like an extra edge on the side of that um, actuator bar I think it's what it's called so now um, what I can do now is when I actually run push down you might be able to see this oh here we go you push down it's starting it'll grab and it actually drop a primer now the other thing I noticed if I go too slow this is what happens let me uh, let me try it again except I won't go slow uh, that was just too slow all right here we go again so I'm just gonna go like a normal normal mode now you see it actually puts it where it's supposed to be um, so if anybody has another solution uh, please mention it in the comments because I was like frustrated. Everything else works fine once I tweaked this machine. Um, it started doing what it was supposed to do as far as resulting hulls or shells. But I really wanted to be able to have the primer feed work the way it's supposed to work. And as you can see, it's working fine. So, um, yeah, please post it in the comments. And this is my, my solution. Uh, hopefully it helps somebody out there with a similar problem. Thank you. Bye.